My name is Noelle Skaggs. Some of you may know me from my social media account, Adventures with Skaggs, where I post my love for food and for travel. For my next adventure, I'll be in one of the most diverse culinary destinations in the world, Las Vegas. I'll be meeting Las Vegas insiders to act as guides to show me the coolest, most savory and unique restaurants Las Vegas has to offer. But I have no doubt I'll be in good hands. I'm at the Cosmopolitan to meet up with my friend, chef mixologist, Marina Mercer. She's going to be showing me one of the best bars in town called Ghost Donkey. Oh my God. Oh, this is amazing. That's cute. <laughs> Welcome to Ghost Donkey. Thank you. Let's go chat yes. talk about some tequila and mezcal. First of all, you're speaking my language on mezcal, tequila, anything. You are in the perfect place then. This is all about Mexican spirits. Okay, now what's the difference between a tequila and a mezcal? So tequila and mezcal are very different in many ways, um, but very similar also. They're both made from agave plant. Yeah. Um, tequila specifically is made from the Weber Blue agave plant. This is an unaged, very traditional one, so it's the true essence of the agave plant. Mezcal is different varietals of agave, and it's also cooked in an underground smoke pit. That's where it gets its smoky scent from. Exactly, yeah. you're gonna get a lot of that. You sound like a sommelier. My first job in the industry actually was called Tequila Goddess, because only in Las Vegas can you be a tequila yeah. goddess. You've been a part of this company for a long time, right? I have been with the Cosmopolitan almost 10 years now. I design cocktail menus for 21 different venues. The mixologist's focus is on the creativity and elevating okay. the craft and creating of cocktails. Okay. But what did you make? So this is called our mushroom margarita. Rewind! Mushrooms. So it's technically, it's called wheat licoche. Okay. It's, it's a delicacy in Mexico. It's considered to be the Mexican truffle. I'm trusting you. Mushrooms and tequila, okay. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I couldn't tell that there was anything in this. That's alcohol related, which can be trouble. <laughs> and here is your nachos. And so this is the perfect pairing here. Are those truffles? They're truffles. <laughs> which <laughs> the most amazing thing to put on nachos. It's the perfect bar snack. Smell it, it has that kind of butteriness, unctuousness with the cheese and stuff. That is so good. I mean, I could literally just eat this all day long, but I, I know that you have some places that you want to take me I so I can do. get the real deal Vegas flavor, you we know? I certainly want to share my Las Vegas with you. Perfect, let's get let's going. Let's do it, okay. For lunch, we headed to La Thai, located on Fremont Street, downtown. So this is classic downtown Las Vegas. It's okay. the best place for food and drinks and just really cool restaurants on yeah. the culture. So if you had friends in town, this is one of the places that you Absolutely. would bring them to as a destination. I love that. It smells amazing. That's my, one of my favorite things about Thai food is it's so fragrant. And I fell in love with it is specifically because of the balance of flavor. There's sweet, salty, umami, yeah. spice, and it's just perfect. Well, I know I'm in good hands, so I'm gonna let you handle all the food. I'm not even gonna look at the menu. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Here we go. For jerky, so we have the uh, the dipping sauce, sticky rice, oh. and the pork jerky. This is one of those dishes too. You kind of just kind of get your hands in, get a little dirty. The sauce is amazing. It's one of their signature sauces here. It's called waterfall sauce. This waterfall sauce is legit. So this is our uh, pork belly bacon. You do not play. So you know, just a little side of meat to serve with our meat. So beautiful. It has like that creamy fattiness to it that kind of melts, but there's still like a really great crunch on the outside. Mm -hmm. Mouth. This is my favorite soup of all time. It's called chumka soup. It's yep. a coconut soup with lemongrass, and a fruit lime leaf, mushrooms, a little bit of curry, fish sauce. And I've always been told that you don't serve your own soup, so I will oh, serve your soup okay. for you. Ladle me. <laughs> you can smell the lemongrass. Mm. That's so good. I, I usually have it after my two meats that I oh eat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is our uh, pea color curry. It's a blend of our red, yellow, and green all in it. Yeah, yes. it's like a journey of flavor. That's got some kick to it. You're setting the bar like way, way, way up here. 
I cannot wait for the next place that you're taking me later. Um, I think we we'll probably have to like walk off some of this food because we've got a lot more eating in, in store for us. All right, cool. Let's go then. Our next stop was Sparrow and Wolf in Chinatown for dinner. Our focus is on new American cuisine with major focus on hospitality. It's very old world meets new world. There's nothing pretentious here. There's no egos. It's really just about deliciousness. Everything is very unexpected. You know, nothing really fits into a tidy little box. But every time I come, I have the best experience. I love it. It sounds like my kind of place. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Feast begin. Get a sword fish aguachile. It's got some fresh cucumber and jalapeno, uh, some lentil crackers to go along with that. One of my favorites on the menu is going to be our duck confit and sweet potato dumplings. It's got a little bit of a Calabrian chili broth, some crispy garlic. I feel like we should jump into this duck here. <laughs> Get after it. It's really good. I'm going to dig into this crudo. Mm. Very light, refreshing, great palate cleanser. Definitely. This is every single bite that I've had so far is great. Right, and it's such an amazing, yeah. eclectic um, group of flavors. And I feel like we're yeah. work trotting right now. It's a true adventure. <laughs> Las Vegas is definitely a microcosm of all of these wonderful restaurants from around the world just kind of concentrated. So yeah. there's a lot of good eating and drinking to be done in Las Vegas. This looks so what amazing. What is this? Oh my god. A little bit of all day braised lamb neck glazed in a natural reduction. It's got some Thai chilies, a little bit of crispy rice and black sesame. Fun dish hot potato. It's a French pet potato pave. It's got a chive creme fraiche. A little bit of uh, smoked trout roll and a uh, Sichuan style pickle. Lastly, some beautiful scallops from the Atlantic, topped with some marinated eggplant. All right, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> so we are at Sparrow and Will. And look, it's very. Right. <laughs> oh wow, it's like melting in my mouth. That sauce is amazing. Get in it. This doesn't taste like any food I've ever had in the world. So this is a foie gras, fat washed rye with a bit of uh, Bordeaux grape nectar. That's crazy. <laughs> One is our uh, house specials, our caramelized honey toast. I mean, gorgeous. Let's dig into this. <laughs> so good. <laughs> It's also so great, refreshing. Thank you so much for bringing me here. Now I have like some of my favorite places and I'm gonna bring my friends when I come to Vegas. Thank you so much. All it's right. been so amazing. Marina and I wrapped up our day together at Sparrow and Wolf, and what an amazing day it was. In a single day from Las Vegas, we visited Mexico, Thailand, and some eclectic global cuisine in Chinatown. No question I was in good hands.